There's a lot underneath that, but um, throughout the history of Qualcomm, it really has been an R&D center for wireless, for connectivity, uh, to enable a tremendous number of companies and applications built on this technology to uh, take advantage of, of cellular and other wireless connectivity. Qualcomm, when it started, is really a system solutions company, and the way it started, the way it it really brought technology to market was to write a specification for a cellular standard using CDMA technology. And from the beginning, from 2G CDMA to 3G CDMA and WCDMA, uh, and even to 4G LTE, Qualcomm's, I think, unique area of expertise has been creating uh, standardized technology that it, that it brings to market. And its business model really requires that in order for Qualcomm to continue to do that from generation to generation, and all the specifications that get released in each generation. Qualcomm needs to have a model that, that realizes some return on that investment. And so the mechanism for obtaining a return on that investment, that technology that we bring to market through standards, has been through licensing its patent portfolio associated with that. And from the beginning, Qualcomm has always offered a license that's very efficient. It's offered a portfolio license or a standard essential patent portfolio license. And it's really never raised its rates. It's always offered everything, essentially, for a single rate. And the patent portfolio that reflects that innovation has grown tremendously. And not just the standards-related innovation, but all the innovation in and around the phone and the cellular system. Our patent portfolio has grown to about 130,000 patents and applications worldwide that are focused on this technology. Uh, and yet we've never raised our rate. And so we make that uh, available to the industry and have for decades. The future is really creating a platform that connects everything everywhere and connects everyone to everything. And so it is a, a tremendous technical capability and it remains to be seen, you know, what's built on top of that. But that technology platform, that mobile platform, um, will be available to entrepreneurs everywhere around the world, including in India. And um, what remains to be seen is um, the new products and services, the new applications, the new forms of social interaction that's built on that mobile technology. It'll be amazing.